Alright, what is up you guys? It's Katya Bulls. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this epic taste test of vegan shredded cheese. Yes, I'm so excited to do this. These have been in my fridge for a while, so I'm super stoked to try them. Now, I will say disclaimer, I have tried some of these brands, but not all of them. And also, I'm missing two brands. I couldn't find this so delicious, and then when I went back to get the v Vio Life one, that I could not find, but I can kind of touch on what I thought of those cheeses. I tried to get all cheddar because I thought that would be a better even ground to be able to taste test them, but I wasn't able to sump for some of the brands. So I have some mozzarella as well as cheddar. So I'll try to give my best review on these guys and just give you my input on what I think of them because I know there's so many people out there who have switched to going vegan or just can't consume dairy, whether they're lactose intolerant or have a dairy allergy and are looking for a good cheese substitute because I have a good girlfriend of mine who's dairy allergy, she's not vegan, and she just has not been able to find a good vegan cheese for her that she likes. Whereas for me, I've liked many that I've tried so far, but we have some brands here that I have not tried. So I'm super excited to try that with you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna serve these all in like a little bit in a bowl so that we can have like a side to side comparison and then I'll start to taste test them with you guys. All right guys, I hope you can see this well and I'm sorry if you hear any background sound, there's some construction going on in my house. But anyways, I've got them here lined up in their little bowls. So I've got three of the mozzarella and two of the cheddars. I'm gonna start over here with this mozzarella by Permella Creamery. I have had their cheddar and their cheddar is very good. What's really cool about them is they actually like age their nut cheese. Um, and these ones are based with cashews and then it has some coconut oil, potato starch, that kind of stuff to bring it all together. So this is what it looks like. If you can see that, hopefully. So. It smells really good. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if it tastes like cheese. That's weird. It doesn't really taste like cheese. It smells like cheese, but it doesn't really taste like cheese. Now, don't knock this brand because like I said, the cheddar is phenomenal. And I actually love it on my tofu scramble, but the mozzarella has like little to no flavor. So, disappointed on that part. But hey, at least we tried it together, so now you know. Definitely go try their cheddar. As for mozzarella, that's like a three out of 10 because it doesn't really taste like anything in my mouth. So that's really odd. The next one is the Mykonos. Um, I have had two friends of mine who were like, you need to try this brand. And finally I found it at Whole Foods. I did go to a few different stores to try to find these. So I'm pretty stoked to try it. And off the bat, the orange color of the cheddar is a lot darker than other ones that I've seen. Oh, it smells cheddar-y. That's really nice. Oh my gosh, okay. Mmm, whoa. That's pungent. It's really creamy. It's weird. Wow. That's cheesy. Like if you're looking for cheesy, that's cheesy. Now from what I remember, this tasted more cheddar-y. Where this just reminds me of a more American cheese kind of flavor. It's good. It's weirdly strong. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna have to see how it goes with my tofu scramble melted on top, but definitely different. I'll give this one like a six or seven out of 10. I love the macros on it. It actually has like three grams of protein, whereas the other ones have like zero. So I was kind of hoping to like it a lot more to see if this was a brand that I would go back to, but it's so, 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 so. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll give that like, yeah, six to seven out of 10. Like it tastes more cheesy definitely than this one, but I don't know if I'll particularly go back to it. So next one, now we're gonna go into like the mozzarellas. This is Good Planet. I haven't actually seen this brand before, so I was really interested in trying it. And off the bat, like if you can see that, I don't know, it's super white, but like the strands are super long. So kind of interesting. It smells mozzarella-y. It smells, yeah, like cheese, but we'll see. Hmm, hmm. 
Mmm. Interesting. This one, I don't know if I would say mozzarella y, but it tastes buttery, actually. Yeah, it's a lot more buttery, I would say, taste wise. Like, I feel like I'm having some vegan butter. So, I don't know if it's necessarily a mozzarella taste, but it just tastes, like I said, buttery. So, it's not too bad, but not quite mozzarella. So, I'll give that one like. 7 out of 10. Like, I like how it tastes. It just doesn't taste like mozzarella, if that's what you're looking for. So, let's see how this one over here tastes for mozzarella, because we've got the Follow Your Heart brand. I have had their cheddar as well, and I do like it. I will preface this by saying that probably my top cheddars that I've had prior to this review is like the Parmela, Daya, and like Follow Your Heart. I think I also liked the So Delicious brand. As for mozzarella, I've only ever tried the Daya brand, and I do remember liking that. But trying this one, buttery, which is odd. <laughs> but let me see how the Follow Your Heart tastes. So not quite as white, just a little off-white. Smells good. Let's see. Mm. This to me resembles more of that margarita pizza mozzarella flavor that I'm looking for. Like, it's not too strong, not too weak. Good texture. I mean, it's melting your mouth, so I would guess that this would also melt really well if you were to make whether a quesadilla or something with it. Delicious, absolutely. I'll give this like a nine out of 10. Like, I would definitely go back to this for mozzarella. I still feel like, I mean, I probably won't find something that's exactly like mozzarella. I have seen one brand that sells like a mozzarella ball. I'll have to see if it tastes like mozzarella. But for what it is, that's pretty damn good. So recommend going with that one. All right, last but not least, Daya. So this is definitely a flavor. I mean, a cheese brand that I go for often. Um, they just have like really good options with vegan stuff. I haven't tried though, like their cream cheese and stuff. But here it is, super yellowy, if you can see that. Like I have noticed that it kind of stains the bottom of your bowl. I mean, obviously you can clean it off, but I don't know if that's like to any caution. I mean, they had turmeric for color, so it's all natural. So really like the stuff. So I'm, I think I'm gonna probably favor this one, but mm, it's interesting because texture alone, it's kind of tough. So I wouldn't just like sprinkle it on any on just anything. I would want a softer one of the cheeses to do that, but melted, I know that this one melts very well. So, I mean, if I were to rate it, I would give it like an eight out of 10, just due to the fact that alone, the texture is a little too tough to be like shredded cheese. I would, I'd wish it to be a little softer, but taste-wise, I think it's much more cheddary. That's all these cheeses, you guys. I know this is short and simple. Sorry, I'm missing two other cheeses, but I thought it'd be fun to try the shredded cheese version right now and how to mix and match. But anyway, so my consensus is like, if you're going for a cheddar, I would say go for either Daya, if you're gonna be melting it, um, or the Parmela, that aged cheddar tastes amazing. I do remember the Veo Life cheddar actually tasting more like mozzarella, ironically enough. So I don't know how to rate that one, like, cause I don't have it in front of me. I mean, I think that due to the fact that it's called cheddar, but it tastes like mozzarella, like I would give it a low rating. Um, I haven't tried their mozzarella flavor, but anyways, so I would say go for that one. The Mykonos is okay. It, like I said, it tasted more American cheese than cheddar. So it's like, okay, fair macros, but it's, it's quite pungent. So I'll have to see how it melts and stuff. And then as for like mozzarella brands, I know I like Daya's mozzarella, but the Fall Your Heart is amazing. As for this guy right here, the Good Planet. I'm happy I got to try this brand, but it just tastes like vegan butter. So not exactly a bad thing if you like buttery taste to things, but it's okay. So I know this is short and sweet, but I hope you guys enjoy this review. If there's any other cool vegan products you want me to taste test and review for you guys, please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. So I don't know what we have next for you. I think we might have a pre-workout review. So stay tuned for that. All right, bye.